In the name of God, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful. Introduction With God's guidance and grace, I undertook the development of the Cellular Balancing Institute of Vardil Iman Ali in Austria in the year 2000. This project was to correct the cellular structure of the living organisms. In the same year, I registered portions of the plan, including its metal structure, in the Austrian Patent Office. I immediately prepared the executive branch of the project, and its implementation began in several countries. The assembled plan was finished in Austria in 2002, and the project was complete and was ready to implement. In the first stage, we made great efforts to grant the Cancer Research Center of Austria's collaboration, and started working on cancerous and healthy cells. We were given the first line of sample cells that included two groups, one as control and the other as targeting samples. Both were of HeLa cancer type. We returned both samples back to the cancer center after a four-hour operation, and Professor Cherney, one of the senior officials of the center, received the cells to make an assessment of the results of the operation. After studying the sample cells, she was surprised and announced that some of the cells were completely apoptotic. That is, those cells underwent programmed cell death or cell suicide. We immediately performed the same experiment on other types of cancerous cells, and the results were almost the same. In the next stage, healthy cells, both human and animal, were tested in order to learn about the reaction of healthy cells to our center's operations. The operation results showed little cellular stress in some cases and cellular freshness in other cases without any side effects. After gaining complete confidence in the safety of this procedure on healthy cells, the first phase of experiments on animals began. The first animal was a dog that also had advanced prostate cancer and the sarcoma glands in its leg. The dog was in a very bad condition. During the four hours of operation, sarcoma tumor in the dog's legs started to change, enlarging and contracting. The tumor stiffened and loosened for two weeks after the operation. When it didn't change anymore, the veterinarian took the tumor out and sent it to the pathology department. The result was very strange to him. No cancer cells were observed. We entered the human phase. The patients, who had no chance of continuing their lives on the basis of classic treatment, were treated. It was a very difficult and complicated task, as we had to boost cellular operations capacities so they would suit different patients, each different from others, with their specific diagnosed medical treatment. We started our two-stage operation with each stage having two cellular operations. Today we offer three million billion cellular operations. In today's meeting, we have some cancer patients who were completely cured three years ago with 1,000 operations, and also patients who have been recently treated with three million billion cellular operations. Our treatment method is new and unique. Today it's the first time I'm going to describe its basics in five parts for the audience. What is quite important is that new subjects about basic activities of healthy and unhealthy cells are presented for the first time, and all except one are the outcome of our own center's research and have not been copied. Regarding the reference, we were forced to use Professor Tainu's measurements from Washington's Cheney University because our measurement charts were not ready. In the meantime, we approve the main issue, but we do not confirm or deny the accuracy of those measurements. The accurate measurements of cellular vibration and its organs, as well as the living organism and its organs, are possible in a special atmosphere, free of energy and with modern precise equipment, which Professor Tainu did not have at the time. Our center has provided such an accurate facility. We hope to provide the academic centers with a comprehensive and accurate table of the vibration of a cell and its organs, and also the vibration of a living organism and its organs. Before shifting to the main topic, I would like to express my gratitude to the Honorable President of Amir Kabir University, Professor Rahoi, and also the Honorable President of Medical Engineering Department, Professor Najarian, and his colleagues for holding this seminar. I hope that your efforts last forever. Ali Ali Shahi
researcher and founder of Vardial Eman Ali Scientific Institute of Cellular Balance, Austria.